Here is a very interesting question and we will try to understand the concept of cross product especially in geometric representation. So the question is parallelogram OBCA has its size determined by OA which is vector OA vector A 4 2 4 and OB the side OB as vector B 3 1 4. Its fourth vertex is point C. A line is drawn from B perpendicular to the side AC of the parallelogram to intersect AC at N. Determine the length of BN. Okay. Now, basically, what we have is let's make one parallelogram first. Let's make a general parallelogram and we'll label it as given in the question. So, what is given to us here is that this is, let's say, origin. And from origin, we have OA. So, OA. And the coordinates for A are 4, 2, 4. So we'll write here 4, 2, 4. And then we have OB. And the coordinates for B are 3, 1, 4. So we'll write here 3, 1, 4. And the other vertex is C. Now it says that a line is drawn from B perpendicular to side AC. So let's draw a line perpendicular from B to AC. It intersects AC at N and let's call it N. Determine the length BN. So we need to find BN, right? So it's perpendicular like that. So that is how the question is. Now, to start with, what can relate this to is if you find the area of parallelogram, which we can with the help of cross product of O and OB, then we can equate that to the area of parallelogram, which we can also find by base times height. Now base is known to us which is equal to OB and height is BN which is not known but area is known so we can find BN. So that is the kind of strategy which we are going to use to solve this problem. Correct? So let's first find area of the parallelogram. So area of parallelogram is OA which is vector A cross OB right? A magnitude of this will give us the area of parallelogram. Correct? Let's calculate this first. Now, what is OA? OA is 4, 2, 4. So let's write down 4, 2, 4. We'll start with the center number 2. So 2, 4, and then 2, 4, 4, and 2, right? And B is 3, 1, 4. We'll start with the center number 1, 4, 3, and end with center number 1. Correct? Now, when we have this to find the cross product, what do we do? We take product with the positive of these and from them we take away these. Correct? That is what we do. Right? So, this could be written as I component. So this set will form I component for us. Is that okay? So, 4 times 2 is 8. So, if we, so we have 8 minus 4. And this is our i component, right? And the j component is 4 times 3 is 12. That's it, plus and 12. And minus 4 times 4 is 16. That is the j component. And then the k component for us is 4 times 1 is 4, minus 3 times 2 is 6. And that is the k component, right, of our vector. Now this can be written as 8 minus 4 is 4i. 12 minus 16 is minus 4j and 4 minus 6 is minus 2k. So that becomes our vector. Now in this particular vector we need to find the magnitude, correct? So let me actually show, so this is the vector inside, right? So we have the magnitude. That makes area, area is scalar quantity, right? So now we need to find magnitude of this, correct? So what is the magnitude? Magnitude is square root of a square plus b square plus c square. So the magnitude for this I can write here itself is square root of 4 square which is 16 plus 4 square which is 16 plus 2 square which is 4 square root, correct? And that is square root of 16 plus 16 is 32 plus 4 is 36. So we get equal to 6. 
right let me continue here and write equal to 6 so we get the area of this parallelogram right now as you know area is also so area of parallelogram is also base times height base times height is it okay now here the base is AC or OB both are same both are parallelograms right so we can say base is OB right so so the magnitude of OB so base for us is equals to magnitude of OB and height for us is BN magnitude of BN is the height do you see that right magnitude of BN is the height now what is OB OB is 314 so the magnitude of 314 is square root so we'll find OB right so magnitude of OB which is equal to let me write down here now OB is square root of 3 square plus 1 square plus 4 square that is 9 plus 1 plus 16 correct times magnitude of BN correct which is 3 plus 10 3 plus 1 10 10 plus 16 is 26 times magnitude of BN right now so this is the area when we calculate it by base times height and we have already calculated area which is 6 correct now we can equate both the areas they should be same is that okay so when we equate them what do we get what 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 we get is 6 is equals to so area is equal so 6 is equals to square root of 26 times magnitude of bn is it okay so from here what is bn equals to so the magnitude of bn is equals to 6 over square root of 26 so that is the answer which we get for this particular question right 6 over square root of 26 now we can write down our answer and which is length of bn so the answer is length of bn is 6 over square root 26 okay so that is how this question is to be done so as you can see what we did was we found area of parallelogram using two different methods one was cross product magnitude and the other one was base times height now since this is the height we equated the two and calculated the height that is the strategy okay i hope you appreciate it thank you